today we are driving up to Oxford. We are going to meet the guys behind the pumped BMX game that everybody plays. I've got Oliver Jack Jones with me. Hi, I'm here to ask the questions that you will want to know, like how much money did you actually make from the game? Have you got a house? Did you buy, did you get a mortgage? <laughs> Is it, was it worth it? And I'm also here to try and get my face into the next game because I know you guys want to see me and want to play as me. So I'm just going to try and work out a way that we can get me in the game. Oliver thinks by coming up here today that he could end up as a character in the next Hump game, but I'm not so sure myself. Uh, we'll see how it goes, Ollie. We'll see what he says. But I think he'd be like, wow, you're so sick. I'm going to be in the game right now. What's up? Leaf it out with the filming, Buzz. <laughs> oh. Hi, mate. How are you? Easy. Lima? You alright? Easy, bro. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah, right? well, man. Come in. Like slippers. You made these in Austin. You made them. <laughs> Can you not remember them? Oh. What, what are you playing? FIFA? Yeah, I've been playing FIFA for ages. I've been hit on it. Do you want a cup of tea or anything? I'd be lovely, please. Thank you very much. I'd love a cup of tea. Basil's ninth tea on the way here. You don't have uh, sugar, do you? No, thanks. You don't yeah. have any sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you know me well, Lima. Nice place. Yeah, we're about to move out, actually. Four, look at the Lima cover. Four. I don't really know what to do with that. Just put it up in your front room, won't <laughs> There as well. Down the bottom, look. It says Baz Keep on the bottom. Woo! Baz Keep up in the front room. You're in the front cover of the one I'm in as well. I'm up in this joint. We made it to Oxford. We're at the Lima. So what are we doing? We're vlogging right now. Vlogging, vlogging. vlogging. <laughs> we made it to Oxford with the Lima Elk from Residence. Live with skateboarders, don't we? Bloody skaters. <sighs> All right, Lima had a massive part in Pump Game, but now we're going to meet the man that made the game, Adam. What's his second name? Hunt. Adam Hunt. Gonna pedal down there. You ready, Ollie? Born ready, son. Go. Oh, look at that. I haven't even locked my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in between. <laughs> Brainy. This is kind of what my job was like. Come here, lock my bike up, go in and see ads, have a cup of tea. See you later. Is that Adam's bike? Yeah. Oh, he's got the fair now. Oh, is this it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. No, it's tricky. Yes, Adam. How are you? Are you good? Are you alright? What is this you're doing right now? I'm playing that BMX Streets thing. Any good? It's pretty good. I'll show you my mad skills. What is your chair all about? I got a bad back. Oh. So <laughs> it makes me sit up straight. Yeah, so this isn't mine. This is some dude. That BMX Streets dude. And the threes are sick. So you're just like oh, market researcher? Uh, he's, yeah, he sent me a bill just to jib around on. And it's pretty good. What you got? I, I, see, a a, I see a. I see a. 360 over the rail. Fucking other way as well. Four, both ways. So this is HQ. Yeah, so I'll share, share the office with Simon here. Hi, right, Simon. Hey. And Baz. Hey. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you. Ollie, nice to meet you. Big little setup, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's right. It's a bit weird being behind the estate Yeah, I just imagine you'd be in your bedroom or at home with a little. I was for most of the time. And then I have the little boy. And so my office became the nursery. Yes, this is top Lord. secret. I'm working on my manuals, aren't I? This is the new pump, essentially, <laughs> maybe. Well, I don't know. I'm just like taking a little oh, bit of time oh, off. Yeah, see that Did shit? Last uh, no, not yet. Oh, I thought that would be the first thing you have done. So is this how you make the game? This is like a basic level, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll show you some of the pump stuff if you want. But this is just literally me testing the manuals. Yeah. I'm trying to like, because if I do a street game, you want the manuals to be yeah. Yeah. dialed. This oh, is okay. so cool. It's pretty cool, interesting to see. Is that uh, one of the first drawings of a character? Yeah, so like when it, exploring, exploring the style <laughs> of how the game's going to work, that was one of the first ones. <laughs> then I went from that, and I, how it might work. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Imagine, this game could be mental. 
and then it kind of started getting a bit closer. That's sick. Um, and just kind of like worked on from there until, yeah, kind of got to that style. Yeah. And so like Priestley was the first one, and like I had that, and then once the style was locked in, I just kind of went on. And did That's everyone. cool, man. It's interesting to see. Um, yeah, I'll show you some of the uh, level and pumped. What? Essentially the new pumped or? No, 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 no mate. Just there isn't really a new pumped yet. I'm still, still working on this one. Tinkering around. If I go to, yeah, mate, I need a bit of time off, you know. It's been <laughs> two years making it. Uh, took two, it took two years to make? Yeah, like every time there's um, some, a roller, you've got to make sure that there's a bit saying that's a roller area, so the physics change are in the roller area. And what? If you're what, so you have to like... Say, doing a clear the gap challenge, you've got to set it up so it's... So the coding knows that it's, it's got to be able to clear the gap? I know nothing about it. So like, yeah, so you say there's a clear the gap challenge there, so it will know to check whether you've cleared the gap or not. For example, or not. like sometimes ads would send me a build and it would be like 360 table over that jump. I'll go and do it. It won't register. I'll text ads, and then he will go and be like, "Oh sure, yeah, I, I didn't, forgot. To I didn't actually program that in." No so way. It would like, so think how many challenge like that has to happen for every single challenge, every all right, so score. These end levels, all of these like bits, tags that you're seeing in the level, that's all like a bit of code telling you, telling the game like how it should work. So, so like a transition. It's saying here, if you're going a certain speed, transition into that landing. If you're not landing that landing, and it's a lot more complicated this time around because with two it was just kind of pretty basic, do a trick challenge. Whereas this is like it might be do a transfer, or it might be do a trick over a certain jump, or do a certain number of tricks. So there's a lot more going on in each level. You can't just code it once. Yeah. You've got to, every single level is kind of bespoke. There's just a ton more stuff going on in it than there was with two. So with two, you, every level once you once the programming was done, that was kind of it. Whereas with this, you've got every time you're doing a transition, that's got to be coded up in the level. Every time you're trying to do a manual challenge, that's got to be coded in. Every time the player can go to slow-mo you've got to drop that in every time the photographer takes a photo you've got to have a trigger in there so that's insane so yeah. so what takes the longest oh, actually a load of the stuff was having all of the riders and people in it this time getting all those contracts Different sorted. oh really getting bmx's to sign contracts <laughs> Hang on, the fuck out. Out, <laughs> i had to have a spreadsheet set up being like how many times have i emailed everyone being like hey can you just send that contract just, back really? all you gotta do is just, just sign it <laughs> yeah no, but actually everyone was pretty cool. Um, loads and loads of testing, like Lima was on the testing all the time because there's so much more going on in every level. One thing and then suddenly nothing works anymore. Yeah. So, mate, you played through the game how many times? Um, hundreds. Yeah, hundreds. Because you know it so well, you must be really good at the game. Like you must... oh, Lima's definitely better than me. Yeah, because I spend more of my time, you know, sat staring Because essentially, it's it's your world you made it do you know what I mean like if, it, if I created something I'd be able to like fly through the air and do stuff no one else could do and that sounds weird but like you would wouldn't you you designed the matrix yeah, that's the design the matrix I, mine wasn't really enjoying playing it mine was like coming up of a way just to complete challenges to make sure they work yeah 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 so and, was, and yeah. mine was more making sure like so this is all the UI controller so making sure when you click on a button the right thing comes up or the pause menu comes up. Is that shows. all the coding? Mate, that's the coding just Whoa. for the buttons on the screen. <laughs> what? So you're, yeah, so do you, yeah. And you've had to write all of that yeah, individually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you don't have a template, you just have to actually write that. No, that's just that. So that's literally just for the buttons and shit. And then if we come to, wow. say, the bike controller, and this is what would control how you pump or when you can do a trick and when you can't do a trick. <laughs> that's all that. And then there's yeah, there's loads more for actually like the challenge controllers, the score controllers, how it all plugs into game center, like yeah. So it so what is making a game? It's typing coding. That is what it is, right? Yeah mate, if statements. Wow. Logic. If this then that. That's basically it, isn't it, Simon? <laughs> what if you do this when that happens? Yeah. Are you doing the same, Simon? Are you writing coding too? I'm not a games programmer, I'm just a regular standard boring programmer. <laughs> Much better at it, right? Um, cool. Yeah, that, but like with Unity, what I use, a lot of it's visual. So yeah. I'm dragging stuff and like saying, do I want that tree to be there? Like, so Unity is a program you use to put stuff in there? Yeah, yeah, so loads of games are made with like um, the new Mario 
that's oh, going yeah. over there. I think Pokemon's maybe that loads of people do it. So there's part of it which is dragging shit around and saying, oh, I want this tree to be there and making it all look pretty. Can you drag jumps around? Yeah, yeah, all of that. So I could say, oh, that. If I didn't want to actually tweak the landing, but mm -hmm. I knew that, say, this one was too long and that's too short, say, I yeah. could just move that a little bit there. That's sick. I'll just go there and like, so I know that's going to be way too short, right? And mm -hmm. I'll come in. And I haven't actually done this fucking ages, so yeah, there we go. Are you nervous? Carry on. About to jump a jump. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's way too short now. But I can see vaguely that's when I would have been landing, so I can come in here and be like, right, that's where I was. So I probably want that about there. So then I can move that. And oh, no, it's flaming off the way now, is it? <laughs> So it's like testing a real jump. You've got to jump it a few times to get the right speed and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but it doesn't take a day to move a lip back. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, Dead clean, smooth. Mate. Oh, on the triple. God, that was like it was planned. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. I broke the game. I, as bro soon as you I broke it. the game. As soon as it went out, you broke it. <laughs> I literally just broke it. Mate, it was a day before I was going on holiday. It was in a bit of a rush. But the missus was at home being like, I had to come home and pack, come home and pack. So I just came in and I was like, just fix the last couple of bits and literally, like, there is a toggle button when I was submitting it to Apple that I should have clicked, that I didn't click. And it basically meant that for 24 hours, no one's game saved. Like, literally just one button you press? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, just enabling iCloud. And yeah, that was, so my first 24 hours on holiday were... Oh, it looked like it was saving. Yeah. Until it like, unloaded from memory, so either you swiped it up or you loaded loads of other stuff. Loads of people, if they were playing it a lot during that day, didn't see that there was a problem. Yeah. And then when the update came out, which fixed the problem, it just wipes all of their fucking progress. So you've, so you've been smashing it all day, you've done like three levels, you're like, yes, sick, killed it, and then you come back and you're like... Oh. I was livid. I was, it was stupid, right? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have rushed. But everyone was sound about it. Always. I got one more question. So, mm. for example, now that you're a business and you've made like a few games, mm. you almost can't stop, can you? Because you've got an office and you've got staff members. Like <laughs> staff. <laughs> it's not staff. <laughs> He's his own man. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um, you mean? Yeah. You're just gonna retire then, like you're gonna. I'm like, gonna retire. If only. It's like road fall. A, if only there was that amount of money in BMX. It's like road <laughs> road falls didn't stop it. Well, mate, I was like, well, you're gonna have to do something because you ain't yeah. got a job. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to do something every day. He's like, well, I've got a lot of painting to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of just got to do a wrapper. <laughs> um, what am I gonna know? If I can think. I'm not going to work on another pump straight away, just because I've been doing it for five years now and mm. want to try and do something a bit different. Yeah. So I'm playing around with doing a street game and then hopefully I can come up with a cool way of doing that. You don't, yeah. it's never going to be the same as no. um, pumped, like getting to the end of the level because yeah. street just doesn't work like that. Yeah. Um, but I'll play with that and then if enough ideas come up for a pump four and no, like maybe add some berms and hips and shit, yeah, then maybe, but... What about... Yeah. Just my input here. What about a skateboard game? Right. Or so scooter game. There's tons of shit. There is tons <laughs> of shit. There's scooter, there's skateboard, there's mountain biking, there's, yeah, yeah. There's loads of them that are doable with the kind of pumped concept. Yeah. But there is only me. And if I'm doing that, it means I'm not making a BMX game. Yeah. And I've got, like, I'm lucky enough to have a big BMX following. Mm. So why? I don't want to sack them off. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's other stuff like family and the fact that I've had a kid and stuff. But. Ignoring that, I used to ride pretty much every day, and I started working on pumped, and I just, just haven't ridden. Yeah. I haven't ridden in ages, just because it feels like work, like yeah. full on. I'm sat there analysing what a bunny hop looks like, or <laughs> exactly at what point you click your shoulders in when you're doing a turn down. Like, it stops I'm the, being fun. Yeah. You know? I'm the same. I used to. <laughs> the only thing I used to worry about was riding and what tricks I want to learn and stuff. And now I'm worrying about where a sticker's going to go on a pair of handlebars. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, what am I yeah. doing? I want to ride more. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and I understand how you feel. So, I mean, in some ways, working on something different might be good because I might actually ride more, but... But like you said, you need a break, which is cool. Yeah. Damn, that's cool. That's a sick turn as well. <laughs> yeah. And so that you've got the tweaks in t three, which wasn't in two. If you hold it, you actually... Push it further. Tweak it, yeah. But yeah, so every single trip. So I'll show it's how, like, if you... How, what, like, if you move his body, like, how much little bits <coughs> oh, that's good idea. affect yeah, everything. Right. So, with a super whip, but say you wanted to extend his legs a little bit, you 
come in and say, right, about there, and you have, well, one, two, one. Oh, well, so you can you click on certain bits and you can just move Yeah, it. grab handles, and you might want to extend his legs a bit more, maybe really, really. So, really so if a rider kind of did like bow-legged tail whips, you could like personalise his tail whip or just make, it would mean yeah, every everyone would do bow In theory, but everyone would do it, because <laughs> I don't like, how many tricks are there, 24 and 15 riders? I'm not doing that many. <laughs> so yeah, yeah so I, then, I wouldn't have a trick first. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this, even down to, say, him gripping the bars, will be tweaked. So, you know, if you're doing an old school, for example, he'll let go of the bars and before. And he can straighten the fingers out. Yeah. So if I go to... Maybe one other table might look quite cool. There's a lot going on there. Your wrists, your hand coming off. I don't think people, like, people actually understand how much work goes into stuff like this. Because I know I didn't understand how much work goes into like, each trick. And when you see it, you're like, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's what, yeah, there's a reason it takes two years. Yeah. Because not only have you got all the level shit that you're doing, but yeah. You just have to like... Every single animate every and this isn't even me. Like I didn't actually make the models. Yeah. I had an artist who made the models, but so you can see there, right? So he lets go of the bars, just he's coming off, and then when he puts his hand out, I think he might extend. Yeah, yeah he, he extends his hand. I remember, I remember chatting about just that little flick. Oh, of his wrist. fingers! It just makes yeah, it look like a bit that. radder, you know. Oh, yeah. so cool! He's down to that level of detail when wow. you get to the end, me like. Even but though actually when you're playing it on your phone, you probably don't notice any of it, yeah, but it? we do. Yeah. yeah. Even like Priestley's tattoos, like actually. Yeah, yeah, there are actual tattoos, yeah. Look that dog. <laughs> See, that's pretty incredible when it's like down to that attention to detail. On, not just, just like an iPhone game, but on a game on your phone, not just like. Yeah, 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 it's, sure. It's insane. But I think you notice it though, compared to like other BMX games. Yeah, I've, well, I hope so. And I guess that's. It's, it's quite easy to show that level of detail with the characters like this, yeah. but actually we spent that amount of time on every little bit of the game, you know, so. It's like a lot of it was like looking at, going on Instagram and like looking at how people do the actual trick. Yeah. Like, and we sat there and you'd be like, all right, like that. And then I'd just like nibble around, you're like, oh, maybe a little bit like that, or maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe put his knee over like this, maybe. Yeah. Or just and maybe like bring the bike down at ever so slightly more, but then once you've changed that, it means you need to go back yeah, and get really all the feet back on the pedals wow. and the hands back on the bars. And so basically, yeah. like from where I'm standing from, obviously, as BMXers, we know how BMX should look. Mm. And if you were sat there making a video game about BMX and you didn't know how it should look, that's why I guess like I you get, kind of well, it's like kind of stiff, I guess, you yeah. know? Yeah, like the yeah. attention to detail that you've got is I guess what makes the game so play playable for riders, you know? Yeah, people you can relate to and you're like, oh, that looks sick. You know? Yeah. Do you know, you know when you do something like a sick table, you're like, oh, that was a sick table. And the fact that they've got like, there's like kickouts and tables that actually look like tables yeah, in the yeah, game. Kick out for me was like one of the most exciting parts yeah. of the game. I was like, I want to do a kick yeah, out in a video game. Like Euro, like I think the Euro is up there with my favourite this time around actually. Like when it just oh, yeah. did it in a three, it just looks sick. It's, yeah, quite just how much to push it because you want it to be sweet, but you don't want it to look absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're chilling, you want yeah. just like real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Well, I'm stoked that you got Bowen in the game. Yeah, man. He was well up for it. It's really good. And he sent contracts back on time and stuff, wow. so... Pro. <laughs> Total pro. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, sure we, I'm sure we can work something out, because I, I just feel like I could bring a lot of uh, publicity in, you know. Okay. Because, you know, I think I could, we could work together, you yeah. know. Dude, I'm in. Sign some contracts now, do you want to <laughs> Just, um, yeah, sign up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Adam, um, Ollie came up today because I think he thinks he's going to be a character in the next game. Well, what's your thoughts on that? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's <bad. laughs> so you're saying there's a chance? It's always a chance. Yeah, I mean, dude in black clothes. You know, it's fairly easy to do, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Artists will have an easy job. It's not It's not too mm. out of the question, I don't think. I think yeah, it's a vibe. Right. Well, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's see how generous we are in the pub. Yeah, in a minute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't believe that Pump BMX is made in the back of an estate agent. I thought he'd have like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't know what I thought. We got it. We 
got? What you got? See it. Yes, sick one for bro. Swag. <laughs> and we just arrived at the skate park. There's a fair amount of uh, moisture at the skate park today. Just a smidge. What do you reckon over the driveway in the wet? Quad whip. <laughs> Basically, I'm the new car bulldog. Shout out to me. Why don't I hop on your bike? Uh oh. Uh oh. No, this is way too small for me. It's very wet as well, so be careful. I'm not responsible for any accidents right. that incur. Rain or shine, ads is keen. <laughs> so we just got to the skate park, and as you can see, it is soaking wet. Ollie's, Ollie's in the bowl anyway. He just rushed for a river. <laughs> Get it, Ollie! Let's see that free fly out. Oh! Oh! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the old manual line. As a rider, you, Liam was saying you ride street. Mm. You're a street rider. Street rider. Yeah, definitely more like back in the day. I used to ride a lot of trails. Are you four pegs or? Oh, I've gone between two and none. Ooh. To do school. Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, let's get a little clip on this. On what? This. You can do your feet, but I actually like it. See it, let's see it. I already saw that. I want a Smith. I saw oh, Smith. Smith. <laughs> now we're diving with there. Big time. See it, Ollie. Oh. <laughs> get it, Ollie. Ollie, are you saying that you can't do this tiny little rail just because it's wet? Just come over it, come over it. Right. Yeah, but it's like... Just add like some nice special effects. Look how tall it is. Out this, this is just water. I'm not asking for like a Corey Martinez move, I'm asking for a double peg. I'd rather ice peg that than double peg that. Would you? Yeah. I'll do, I'll do 180, over switch crank, half cab, double bar, out. Right, give me my bike. You, you send it. I'll double peg it. Oh, oh god, here we go. Shit, I'll, do, I'll double peg it on your bike. Here we go. Right, granddad, out of retirement, on the pegs. Imagine if I take the most horrendous slam right now. <laughs> this is definitely a possibility. I'm actually scared. Oh, what you what? Oh, because the last time we hopped, <laughs> the last time we hopped was on those big bikes. I might hop over it. Just, just send it, Baz. I'm actually scared. Two feet. No way! <laughs> oh, landing! You meant to pull up. That's the difference between me and Ollie, you know? <laughs> Come on, Ollie. <laughs> right. I'll get down low, Ollie. Wanna see what I'm on one up bad? No way. He's gonna one up me. Damn! <laughs> so we're leaving the skate park. It's too wet to ride. Ollie, you didn't get to show Adam what you can do. I'm gutted. Like, my time to shine, get in the game, maybe get some royalties, but I guess, you know, if one door opens, another one closes, and it's just not my day today. Maybe for <laughs> pumped four or pumped five, but. <laughs> so we've had to leave the skate park because it's wet. Like, if you're ever in Oxford, Make sure you check out their skate park because it looks so much fun. Possibly the, like, the funnest skate park I've seen for a good while. I told you you'd like it, didn't I? I have actually got a question to ask you. How yeah. many people have downloaded the new game? Quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the right answer. <laughs> give uh, give um, more than 10. Less than 10,000. More than 10,000. Basically. <laughs> How much money do you make from one, two, and three now? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> no, nah, it's alright. It's good. It means um, I've got basically I've got a enough money so that I can try and make another game, and hopefully that will mean that I've got That's some more money to Such make a, another like, game. Yeah. Such a Easy ask to answer, isn't it? Because how much money do you need to make another yeah. game? <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> so, are you good at riding? Mm, no. <laughs> Is he good at riding, Liam? That's just like a classic street plaza nibbler. Mm. 
I like that description. So you're a street nice rider. Street nibbler. Yeah. You know, so like, go around, grinding, manualing, hot bar spinning his way around. Oh, yeah. cheeky hot bar in there. Oh, yeah, man, I love a hot, hot bar. bar. Big fucking love a hot bar. bar. So yeah, you... back in the day, I definitely rode more trails. Yeah. But then I lived in Brighton for a few years and the street scene there is sick. Yeah. So I just yeah, rode loads of street there. and Before Brighton ain't ready. Before Brighton ain't ready. This is when they were ready. Three. Yeah. Brighton really weren't ready. ready. <laughs> Brian doesn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Brian doesn't even know. <laughs> but you are a BMXer, aren't you? You're a but you came from BMX. Oh fuck, mate! Yeah, I've been riding for how old am I? I've been riding for near enough twenty years now. Fifteen, twenty years. Same. The struggle's real. You ride for twenty years and you're still not good. <laughs> 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 and Liam, mate, what actually did you have to do with it then? Was that, no, I had to come up with every challenge. Which so you had to play the game loads. Yeah, well, it's not a bad job, really, Lima. I mean, you can't really complain. Would you do that job, Ollie? Hundred <laughs> percent. Do you want to give me that job next time? <laughs> <laughs> how good am I? <laughs> Jesus. Let's say how good a gamer. Basically, are you? let's just say I'm unemployed at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty of time on my hands. Quit your job. <laughs> <laughs> well, that game's um, great for the unemployed, isn't it? I reckon. You've got to be stoked though on the whole game and how it's all gone and. Being able to like it be your job, like you, yeah. basically it's like almost like making a living out of BMX, isn't it? Yeah, mate. I know, yeah. like obviously you do spend a lot of time in the office, but you like cho like BMX has been like your passion and what you'd love to do for years and years and years, and you've managed to find like an it's angle hard, yeah. instead of like yeah. start instead of like getting really good at riding and being a pro and making money for a few years or starting your own bike company or starting a shop, you have like managed to find what you're good at and and turn it into like a living for BMX. Yeah, that. yeah, it's been amazing. I remember when I was kind of 18, 19, my dream was to have my own skate park. And I always did when I like, I, I kind of knew like, yeah, not, not terrible when I bike, but I was never, I never, I never wanted to be pro really, but I wanted to be in the industry. Yeah. So yeah, being able to, being able to like hang out with you guys or like, because we're like, hang out with special people. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hang out with, Joe wow. Rich or Crandall or like chat to Aiken, like all of these people that I've absolutely oh, yeah, idolised for years who I now talk to on email. Like that's that's it. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That, that Aiken story? 100%. It's, not, it's quite a good story. It's like quite gripping. <laughs> it's gripping, I yeah. suppose. Do you want to tell it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves an Aitken story. Right, so. Right, first of all. Oh, what's the one you weren't telling it? We'll, we'll go back and forth. All right then. The bitch you miss. All right, right, well I'll start. Um, so it started with me and Lima talking about who we wanted to have in the game. And like, so we were talking about Fit being in the game and Dugan was like straight up there. Really obvious choice. So kind of we had Dugan and then blah, blah, blah. Like everyone else. And then Fit got forgotten about. So it's like Fit. So like, we've, done, we've done that. So we had the rider list. And then you, would you like to tell and me Then that? obviously the rider list was completely announced and <clears throat> it comes in, everyone's like, this is a trails game, where the hell's Mike Aitken? Yeah. And yeah. literally looked at him like, Mike Aitken's my favorite BMX rider ever. How have I <laughs> forgotten about this? And Ads is like, shit, like, <sighs> this is no. terrible. Livid. And I, we, like, I remember being like, we have to have him in the game. He's the best BMX trails rider has ever been and I'd just like yeah 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 Can't so that, yeah. right so the concept felt artist. bad anyway we felt oh, no, we, like yeah, completely no, messed up felt bad. basically basically what you did is you forgot the best riders <laughs> in the history of the sport <laughs> yeah honestly yeah <laughs> and, and, and you're like <laughs> don't I knew there was someone that <laughs> yeah, but it's really yeah. as but as it was a proper simple mistake because you like because it's really hard like yeah. picking riders anyway so you're like, all right, fit of done. We've got that, you know, then you just go on. It's, we're trying to backtrack, but that, yeah, we messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was a bit- Just a little mistake. <laughs> yes, <laughs> massively. That was a bit stupid. And then the concept artist that I've been using to do to draw the characters and those pictures of the characters then go to the 3D artist, like she was long gone. Oh no, no, before that, before that, we ask Aitken if he wants to be in it. Oh yeah, so I had a chat with him. No, like, ads rang him up. Which was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rang him up and said, Which is weird. Dude, I yeah. dude, like, <laughs> yeah. run up my yeah. cake. Not only am I ringing him up, but I'm saying, dude, I fucked up. Like, <laughs> I'm really I, sorry, yeah. but he's like, do you know, put me in. You know, you know how you're the best rider that's ever lived? <laughs> yeah. I kind of forgot that for a second. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> that is amazing. So yeah, no, thankfully it was cool that he was like, Look, if you can if you can get me in the game, that's cool. And we came up with a nice idea that essentially we could get him in by being the character that you get when you complete the yeah, game. Yeah, so you unlock it, you yeah. win, you ache in the trails legend. Which actually, trails. like, if we hadn't told the story, would seem like that was the plan from the start. Like, it was a really <laughs> nice fit. Yeah. I did think, like, well, we should have been in the game anyway. Yeah. Like, I actually did think that. So it's good to know the real story, like, you forgot. So. Oh, Benny gets better. <laughs> oh, there's more uh, to this there's story. There's another twist. There's yeah. more to the story. So, I'll, 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 I'll kind of skip through the next bit. Essentially, he was like, sweet, yeah, I'm involved. I want to be involved. This is awesome. Spoke to Mola. Mola's down with it, so that's all cool. So then I try and speak to my concept artist, and she's like, "Okay, yeah, I can maybe do it next week." And then a week goes by, and then I can't, don't hear from him again. And then I didn't hear. From Deadlines her. are getting tight, by the like, way. You know, this is towards the end of making yeah. the game. And then I just had to say, "Look, she's just not replying to my emails." I, so I basically yeah, I, I, to, Mola, I emailed Aitken and Mola and said, "I'm really sorry, but why my the artist has gone." Having said. You can be in the game. So in other words, like the thing is, if you got that artist, <laughs> there's you can get another artist because he won't look like all the characters we showed you earlier. He might look like that weird oaf. <laughs> so you're like, you can't have Aiken looking like that. So it's like, if that artist isn't replying, you can't get hold of her. Like you can, no one can draw it. So are you yeah. telling me that the second phone call you ever had to make to my game <laughs> was an Indian <laughs> game? <laughs> you know how we said you're going to be in BMX pub. <laughs> No, he didn't ring him on this video, he was emailed him, he texted him. I was not, I was not calling him. <laughs> a comment on his Instagram. <laughs> hey Mike, Sol's about the game, can't actually get you in, don't phone me, I'm out of the country. Right, so anyway, this was probably on a Thursday, we were in the office, that was like a Thursday maybe, and I was like, ads mate, you, there's mate, no way doctors. this can happen, like, we do whatever you, it needs to happen, like, I'm pretty gutted, and ads was like, pretty gutted as well. So I went, I think Ads might have gone to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> like drank a <alone>. leg. <laughs> and then, and then basically, no, I was genuinely, I was sat in the pub, I'd had a few pints and thought, mate, this is not on, this can't, this will not abide. <laughs> um, so I just emailed the woman back and said, look, can you do it this weekend? I'll I'll pay you some extra money. Just get me this concept art this weekend. And she, she had it me within like 12 hours. She so it to me. Mate, she was just, she was sat in your belt, and then yeah. you, I seen you game with the extra bit of money. Fucking amazing. She's she was like busy with her own job or whatever, and I basically, um, mate, it was tight. So Monday, it by Thursday, that conversation, that email got sent out. Monday morning, there was an Aitken character on a bike. <laughs> so then adds up to message Aitken again. <laughs> 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 but his reply was like probably the most sound thing. Oh, dude, that was amazing. Yeah, he was just like so you know, stoked. He was he appreciated like the effort. And, yeah. yeah. Mike Aitken, if you're watching, we do widely regard you as the best rider on the planet. <laughs> yeah, Even yeah. though they forgot about you yeah. and messed you around, you are the greatest. You are a god. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it all worked out in the end, and I'm stoked he's in it, and his character's awesome. It looked amazing. Yeah. So the um, next game, tell you what, what he was definitely in it, and you're going to unlock Ollie as a new character. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. Sure. Bring, bring up if Ollie you, on the way out. <laughs> Sorry, mate, about that. about that game. I'm like, it's, it's cool, I'll do my own art. <laughs> I've got you covered. <laughs> Ollie does the art for Stickman Bike. They <laughs> <laughs> were like pictures of Aiken. Because like that was sort of like before like There's not a lot, is there? Online, before like the internet, like yeah. not before the internet, but like yeah. So obviously, I, I just, we spoke to him about what style he was going for, and he was he was into the wide awake nightmare. No, era that's what I was sort of saying. He wanted ammo. like there's not enough footage of him online either. You like yeah. you like when I'm sometimes I'm when I want to ride, I'm looking for inspiration. I'm like, who do I like? I have Mike Aiken. <laughs> and I, there's not like an abundance on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want yeah. there to be, don't you? But, yeah. but like, think you. Um, did any riders turn turn it down? The, the, oh, did any well, rider, I'm not sure. Did any riders turn about. the offer down? Uh, <laughs> there were yes, there, there were a few. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, there were a few people that wanted money. Um, is that is that why you're not in the game, Ollie? Well, I basically I was like, well, I want five grand at least startup cost <laughs> to get me in the, in there, but. I think the next the next game we're gonna work something out where it's negotiate, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the money, you're doing the money drawing. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna. I'm paying my own wages now. So. Started from when we were in Malaga, like just wait, chatting wait. about it, wasn't it? Can you say yeah, that one yeah, more yeah. time then about Byron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're vlogging right now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm vlog. Just like, Yeah, no, no, but I am stoked it worked out with Bowen and Tall Order because that was. It, and that was kind of towards the end of development, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I mean, I said to Lima when we were in Malaga, it was a, almost like a joke. I was like, because the tall order was just an idea then. I was like, maybe we can like... I'll, I'll tell you exactly how it happened. You were like, can you put a sticker on the bike there? And I went, can you give me one of those tools? <laughs> do pocket socket. And you went, yeah, if you get Bowen having a sticker. He's got a whole bike and I don't have a fucking pocket socket. <laughs> We um, still haven't got one. Um, out here promising the world not delivering nothing this time. That's why I'm still sat here. But yeah, Baz was like, can you put like a sticker there? And I was like, no, we actually can. But we could, and then, I did, then I told you that he wanted that or a t-shirt. You're like, oh, maybe it we'll made more the sense. bike brand in. So yeah, for a while he was on Matt Hewitt. Just because I wanted Bowen in because he's supported he's the game. Bowen, yeah. Was it before, who was he going to be before Matt? It was someone before Matt Hughes, maybe Red Bull or something. I think it was did, Red Bull, because Tucker they, was supposed to be in there, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, no, yeah so Huck, in there. Huck has got his Red maybe Bull logo on his, his helmet. Oh, okay, so Red Bull, um, yeah. yeah. Maybe they but just that was a nightmare, it. wasn't it? Didn't it? Him and Bowen having to have Red Bull logos on their helmets. So I think in their contracts, even digital versions of themselves have to have Red Bull logos <laughs> on their helmets. Wow. So like we, we, that we was had, long. We that had, was way longer than any other bike companies. So like Fox like just straight up said, it's like too much, too much for their lawyers to even sort out. Yeah. Versus fans, fine. quite massive. Yeah. Fine. One so, day it took. Wow. Like, sure, go for it. Knock it out. Yeah. What was it like for getting tall order? Did you have to talk to the tall order lawyers? Well, I had to get go through a few channels, you know. <laughs> we've got a lot of people working for us at the moment, you know. Well, we're Penthouse Canary Wharf, so we've got five people working in, in just for reception. So trying to get that communication across is quite, it's quite a difficult process. And then lawyer to lawyer, and we've got different lawyers, different types, types of... Um, okay, can we cut now? <laughs> in actual fact, it was me begging Lima. Please, can you get even a sticker on the frame? It doesn't even need to, lead, need to look like to a lawyer. Just a look like a night tick. <laughs> Anything. Just let us be in there. No, we do. We really do appreciate Tall Order being there, don't we, Ollie? I do. That's cool, man. I mean, yeah, that's a big part of it, is being able to support proper BMX brands. And Bowen being in it, obviously, Bowen's fucking... Oh, mate, his, his, his outfit is outstanding. He's like the first dude on the screen, isn't he? Yeah, yeah I just did it alphabetically, I have to be fair. Did you? Yeah. It's no, you should have said you did it because it's Tall Order. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good cut. Person. It's a good person to have first, though. Yeah, it, looks, it worked out well. looks good as a yeah. Yeah. character. Love the outfit. So essentially, he's the guy that most people would see. Like. Yeah, he's almost the face. Of yeah. Yeah. Corey Bowen, the face of Jack Daniels and the face of Pumped. And the face of childcare. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Ads. Mate, good to see you. Good times. Lovely to meet you. Uh, you too. Nice. Bye -bye. See you in a bit. Yeah, yeah cool. Bye. Nice one. Adios. Thank, thank you, Lima. Thank you very much, sir. Great, it was an amazing day. We had fun, didn't we, Oliver? Always. Good to hang out. Yeah, it was fun. And I'll uh, see you in London in a couple of weeks. I guess. You will. See you at the premiere. Mm. He's coming to the premiere of my new video. Our, our video. Shout out. <laughs>